As you can see right here, uh, it's not hard, it's not rocket science, it's very quick. We found a product right here that's ready to go, ready to sell on Amazon. The whole niche is healthy and we can get a product supplier to start producing it now. And all you need to know to do this yourself is... What's up everyone, this is Dave, head of learning at zombase.com and in today's video I'm going to show you how to quickly find another product in under 10 minutes that you could start selling on Amazon right away and more importantly going over exactly why this product and other ones like it are easy targets to start selling on Amazon right away. We've done a couple of these now and this is a short little mini series just going into the initial tools you'd be using to get started on Amazon right away and finding a home run product. These lessons are designed to get the concepts across to you so you can start looking quickly and easily. And we're only going to be going into Zon Research and the Chrome extension in the product research suite. Now this suite has a ton to offer through your whole journey of Amazon. Zon Base is all you need but I want to show you how you can use just Zon Research and Chrome extension to find a product that you can start selling right away on Amazon using zonbase.com. So before we start searching, really what I'm going to be looking for today is I'm going to be using a base hit preset. Uh, we're going to be looking for things that are $13 to $30. So let's click Zon Research right here just to get started. And I'm essentially going to come over here to click select the preset. That's going to check off the boxes depending on the preset over here as well as fill in some of these filters. As you get better understanding what you're doing within this software and with Amazon altogether, you can start choosing some of these uh, yourself and you can start filling out these filters that uh, to better suit your goals and what you're trying to do. But for now, I, I strongly suggest that beginners and even anyone up to experts, we still use this to date is the base hit preset. Now, the theory behind the base hit preset is simple, that instead of trying to go for a home run, which are fewer and further between, and sometimes you got to swing the bat a lot of times and you can spend a lot of money and a lot of time trying to find that home run. The base hits are going to be what get you sustainable quickly. A model we like to go by here is a series of base hits is better than a home run. Now let's get into some of the categories and filters that the base hit preset set. If you noticed in the categories, there are a lot of things. They selected a little more than half the categories and uh, these filters over here are essentially set to basically look for smaller average or high sales volumes with low competition. So in this case, we like the sales volume every month to be between $9,000 and $30,000. Once you get up a little bit past $30,000, the competition tends to get a little bit high and anything below $9,000 in a monthly sales volume won't really get you enough to uh, sustain the work and time and money that it may cost you to sell this product. So we want to make sure that these, the minimum sales volume is at least around 10 grand. The minimum price right here, this is the minimum price per product right here. So we want it to be $13 and it doesn't set a max price. Um, you can set one if you want, but essentially anything over $13 will guarantee that after Amazon takes their fees and the product supplier takes their fees and any branding costs, you still want to have, you know, six or seven dollars left over per per sale for your profits. So below $13, it starts to get dangerously close to not having high enough profit margins to be sustainable. And finally, the only other setting that is set over here is 100 max reviews. Now, why are reviews important? We gauge our initial competition on reviews. So your biggest competitors, do they have 5,000 reviews? Well, that's going to be someone tough to uh, compete with. But on the other hand, if the average or even the top competitor in your niche has under 100 reviews, that's going to be very easy to compete compete with, especially with some of the other strategies in this suite. So it's literally that easy. You come in, you click base hit, it selects the majority of the categories and sets some very simple filters so that you can start sorting through a manageable amount of products, still hundreds of thousands of products, if not more. However, it will be a much more manageable way. Now let's show you the next steps. So as you can see, we have over 15,000 entries. This is page one. There's tons of pages here, but we're going to try and get this done as quick as possible and find a product. The next steps that I usually like to do is we like to look at this monthly revenue. We like to find something closer to 20 to 30,000 rather than nine, as well as some reviews that are closer to zero than a hundred. So that's how we like to start filtering them down a little bit more. And then there's one more step after that. So as we scroll down here, we're going to look at something with a little bit highest of the higher revenue. This one has the highest 18,000. So that's not bad. And only eight reviews. So our eight average reviews. So this is a little interesting and it's not breakable. So 
Let's try it out. So we've clicked on the product from Zombase and here it is in Amazon. And the last step that we want to do just to make sure this is this would be a good product because everything looks pretty good on it. You should be able to uh, start looking for a supplier on this and see and further going down the road to see if this is a good product. But the last step you really want to do is uh, we're going to look up just the keyword here with the Google Chrome extension from Zombase. We're basically going to see if the entire niche is healthy enough to support this product or not. If the entire niche is a little spotty and maybe this is just an outlier or this is the only item in the niche or even that the niche has like two or three people that are basically making all the money and the rest are making none of it. Those are reasons you might want to avoid this product. So that's why this is the next step. So you want to install the Chrome extension from Zonbase and then you want to take the main keywords of this product and search it in Amazon. So this is a Native America India area rug. So let's type that in and let's see what comes up. Uh, this is These are all the results and before you click on one, you can kind of see some of the price is here. This is where you're going to use the Chrome extension. So after you type in the keywords, you go over here to the Chrome extension, you click on Zon Research, and what comes up is uh, all of those results on the page and uh, how they're doing and their analytics, their price, their bestseller ranking, their sales histories, their monthly sales, everything that we need to know to understand, well, is this actually a healthy niche? And this one's a little strange because if you go down here, you're going to see like a big disparity, not any, not any, 44, 2, 1, and then 375. Oh, that's that's the, that's the exact one that we were looking at. Actually, the best one is that product. And that may have be something to do with that it's a Southwest design. But overall, this just isn't enough data for me. So I'm actually going to move on to another product to give you a, a better example. So here we are back on the uh, first page and first listings here. And this one's kind of cool because it's kind of like I can see this being given as a gift and uh, giftable products are also a big like plus you want to get giftable products because people don't return them as much when they were gifts. They almost never do. And people buy gifts for other people sometimes more than they buy for themselves. So that being said, this is a pretty cool product. Its numbers are, are uh, interesting, a little underwhelming on both, but let's take them into the Chrome extension and let's see how the whole niche does because this is plenty, 11,000 and average low review, best seller rank of 20,000, 300 in sales volume. This is a pretty good product. Again, we go over here, we search USA Kydex OWB holsters. That's pretty much the main keyword. And we start to see the entire niche. You see, you see two of these right here of, of and here's one without the, the uh, picture and the branding on it. So let's go up to the Chrome extension next. As we can see here, I filter my monthly sales. This is a little bit more of a normal one where you're going to see a bunch of people at the hundreds and then maybe one guy up here who's got the monthly revenue of 100k. 27,000 reviews. That's a lot. However, this 27,000 reviews is one without branding. So this is one that you might want to consider doing some branding on, uh, whether it be um, camouflage, some sort of design like that, or whether it be political or something like that you can kind of introduce branding to this very, very easily from the supplier and have them make a couple thousand of them and compete with some of these other products as opposed to this one that have lower reviews. So I think this is actually a pretty decent opportunity, especially if you look at basically a lot of the others are in the marks, are in the areas we want them to be in about, you know, 16,000, 37,000, 10,000 in revenue. And again, the one that, and also if you look at this one, this is the one that we saw, uh, this is about a 6K revenue and 700 reviews reviews. So it's a lot. I actually think this is a pretty good product though. The reason I believe that is you need to basically introduce your own branding. It's a giftable product. Uh, it's not a breakable product and it's a very, very cheap and easy product to get produced in mass. And I think that all said and done, this would be a product I would add to the list to take further to uh, look down the zombie suite and find a product supplier and go to the next steps. So that's it. That's how easy it is to use zombase.com to find a product to start selling right away on Amazon. We got a couple more of these coming out before we go further into the software. I wish you luck on your Amazon journey and we'll see you on the next one.